Well, hello people, and welcome back to part 35 of the Thessia How Australian Inspired Build. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for all support last week on our Ascension Road Town Frame. And today we're going to get this town started with a distillery build and looking how we can use generic industry to make it, I guess, not so generic anymore. So there's a lot of fun to be had there. We're also going to do some really fun detailing with a tavern taking inspiration from Google Earth. And also get our first population centers into ascension as well with some low density but really fun episode coming up i always love repurposing generic industry into something a little bit more unique and of course australia always provides the perfect inspiration otherwise let's build a little local artisan distillery in the city skyline shall we so today's distillery build is gonna kind of complete the i guess alcoholic triplet of builds that we have across uh, thessia at the minute of course there's valkyrie brewery over here uh, which is a strong favourite. We've always got the fantastic logo out here as well. <laughs> it's so cool. I absolutely love this. And then of course, um, the Tassoni Vineyards over the hills and far away. Uh, up this way as well. And I've really enjoyed putting these builds together. And today's is going to be uh, pretty kind of quaint and small. But uh, hopefully highly detailed. And we're also going to get some plopping of houses done in uh, Ascension as well today. And big shout out to the Kennedy Man as well for making a little logo hopefully we can get this on a billboard as well uh, for the build but either way let's dive into it shall we so a lot of today's assets are going to come from the uh, generic industry pool and i think i'm happy to have the distillery sort of along this area of the industrial area so let's crack open some frames and start to orientate against our main train line so bring this open and i reckon we'll sort of make this junction here, the entrance into the distillery, and kind of give ourselves this space here to play with up against the water it might be quite fun. So let's see what we can piece together. As we come into the facility, I'd love to have uh, some parking immediately up again. We're taking inspiration from the uh, Ben Lee distillery in Queensland as well today. You will have seen from uh, editing X Google Earth shots. So I want to sort of try and respect the layout of the campus that we have there. So let's give everyone a little bit of offset. I'll touch a square as well. And I essentially want this car park service road, which will probably actually use the rundown one as the frame that all the distillery buildings are going to sit against. So first of all, I'd like kind of a larger uh, warehouse building to sit within this space here without actually using an industry's DLC warehouse, which we will have some of those in today, but not right now. So I think we'll do some industrial evolution using here. Let's uh, position them so they're appropriate. So we'll have those there. Again, a little bit of surface painter will go a long way to tying those textures together. So I imagine this is perhaps where the barrels are stored and whatnot. Now we can see certainly from at least our Google Earth inspiration that uh, there's a lot of kind of silos and tanks and whatnot around this distillery. So that's definitely something I want to respect as well. So let's bring in another little service road here and then to that effect should be decent enough so i don't want to use these kind of older brick factories because that's not really the vibe we're seeing in this kind of like artisan distillery so i think we'll go with one of these and a lot of the industrial evolution stuff's going to come in really handy today i think i'm also happy for there to be like a, a visitor center here and what i would like to do because we can see there's the distillery in Brisbane and then there's also a sort of named tavern as well nearby where you imagine people can sample the delights of whatever is brewed at the, at the distillery so that's something I want to try and respect as well so there's one asset that really really stands out within the vanilla pool of silos which is this one which I really really like and there's also this one as well which are listed as two separate assets but they're pretty similar I think aren't they beside their props I think I prefer the one without parking, to be honest. So let's have this one over here. Um, I'm going to try and spin it around. And again, just try and make this part of the facility complex there. It looks like there's a really happy fuse in there with the stairwell, doesn't there? That kind of comes out into the back alley here, creates an alleyway within the complex itself. So I don't hate that at all, I don't think. And just sort of seeing how much this bulks out our infrastructure. Not too bad. I think I could definitely go for another set of uh, distilling silos. Now, my distillery knowledge is <laughs> pretty much non-existent, so if I do offend the whiskey boys today, 
please, please do excuse me. I'm sure we'll manage to rectify it. But right now, that's not too bad. I definitely want to reset this asset with move it though, because it is currently a different colour. Are we happy there? And that's about as close as we're going to get it, is it? Cool. I don't mind that. So these guys are a little bit far from the road, I think. So we will have to use building spawn points and just drag them down to the street. Otherwise, they will start complaining of not enough services and winches and whatnot. So I should sort them out. That's not going to be too bad. And then as we bring this road around now, I'd like some form of car parking to appear here. Let's see if we can be a bit more creative with our car parking layout. Let's do 22 meters of poorly maintained. We'll do seven there. And then we'll do 60 meters of one sided. So again, we want to make sure we're driving on the dark side of the road here. It's always so hard to tell in this theme. I think that's right. <laughs> I'm sure it is. And then I want to bring this one down to there again. And then we'll lock that in. And we'll have that as our configuration. Let's use a little bit of node control here to see what we can do. We'll actually turn that one into a bend. And what happens if we um, really close that off? Yeah, I don't hate that at all. And I'll probably do the same thing here as well, just so we get those square edges on the car parks themselves. And we could do it there, but I don't think that one's particularly necessary. So we'll just get rid of that. Let's get our car parking spaces down. Cool. I don't mind that. Something a little bit different than the usual square blocky ones, isn't it? So we'll have that in there and then we'll pick out some of our favourite trees as well. I really do feel like I need to pay a visit to the workshop for some kind of drier grasses for this here. But uh, away from that we do have uh, some nice shrubbery that I'd like to bring in if we can find it. There we go. Get a couple of these around. Get some nice rocks in here as well today. Some smaller plants too. Get some of those smaller rocks in. Always what I miss from CS2 so much, you know, just spending a bit of time with a little space like this. It's very simplistic, it's not like the best, most groundbreaking detail, you know, but my god, is it fun. And we'll get some little cabbage palms in here as well, I think. Don't hate that at all, that's quite nice. But also in Google Earth, we're also seeing what looks like kind of a barn structure, is the best way I could describe it. I'll leave some um, Google Earth shots up on the screen today during the edit so you can kind of get a sense of what we're talking about and what we're seeing. Again, I'm not a distiller. <laughs> I don't know what these things are, what their, their terminology is or what they're used for. I'm sure there'll be some uh, whiskey fans in the comments that can let us know what all this stuff is used for in the whiskey production process at least. But to respect those vibes, I wouldn't totally be against the inclusion of some vanilla farming industry because this definitely has some vibes to be had. Um, especially with the processing stuff. Now they might be a little bit a little bit too farm heavy for me. Is grain used in making whiskey? I think it is, isn't it? Whiskey and rye, etc. Isn't there a song about that? I think there is. Why don't we make this little grain area here? A little grain building part of our uh, sort of silo area. Something like that. Not scared of a little bit of dirt around here either, not after like a total concrete space. Let's try to service pick some of it up, see what we think. I think it kind of helps actually, doesn't it, with the uh, silos there. There'd be a lot of cute little truck and mud decal detailing we can do here as well in our time lapse today. Okay, so we'll have that there. And then I reckon a couple of these little red warehouse looking numbers will satisfy a barn aesthetic. Now, there's also the possibility as well to include some of the farming stuff itself. Which, do we want a barn here? Is that going to look really out of place? And it is kind of like a barn vibe in the distillery, but I don't think I want it here. Now, the forestry building is actually more like what we're seeing in um, Queensland. Like, kind of like old redwood building. Not quite a barn, but, you know, not like a modern industrial building either. Why don't we go with that? I reckon what we can do here is we can have some sort of perhaps cask storage if you will. Bring that up there if we can okay. And then I reckon we'll end up surface painting this entire area, get involved in lots of kind of 
fun overgrowth detailing in our time lapse around here against the train line with some um, chain link fencing. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Any excuse to head back to Valkyrie. And of course we will. Uh, it's over here by the train station in Valkyrie is what I'm talking about. This sort of stuff here, you know. Always enjoy doing stuff like this. And any excuse to look at Valkyrie's insane train station as well. Look at that. Don't spend too much time over here anymore, do we, since we finished Valkyrie, but it's a uh, fantastically wonderful town to look at. Really enjoy it. Here comes the train. Oh, yes. <laughs> so much fun. So much fun. I love this map, everyone. Always happy to build on this every week for you guys. Thank you for the continued support on City Skylines 1 content. It's a, it's a pleasure to keep playing it. And I'd also actually love the idea, because we don't have the sign for this uh, brewery yeah i love the fact that perhaps valkyrie bitter have like bought some advertising on the edge of ascension just to try and beat out their competition so why don't we try and have a little billboard on the edge of the bridge you, know, you can imagine that the ascension distillery is fuming that valkyrie bitter has taken advertising space here That'd be pretty cool, right? <laughs> you can also see it from the uh, distillery there. But it's starting to look like a distillery, at least, from what we're seeing in Google Earth. I don't mind that at all. I think it's pretty cool. See how it goes, anyway. So yes, yeah, so we'll get involved with lots of overgrowth, detail, and chain link fence, and around the back of those assets. I think I'll be happy with that. And then I think over this side of the facility, we've kind of got like the distilling process here, and perhaps some storage and further processing over this way. Um, I'd like a kind of distribution area now where kind of trucks come in to pick up barrels of whiskey to distribute across the lands of Terregia, etc. Yeah, yes, I know they're all windy. Don't we? We're going to finally satisfy some low density in our time maps today. <laughs> We're going to do some plopping out here. Because uh, Thessia is in dire need of population in pretty much every town. Everyone's complaining of not enough workers. So let's dive into industrial evolution. Now, there's this asset here. It kind of looks like a mini distribution center, doesn't it? Like it's geared up to accept trucks. I reckon we can do three of these. We'll grab ourselves, move it to fuse in together. So it looks like kind of one cohesive warehouse, if you like. Something a little bit like that's what I'm after. We'll grab the three of them. We'll spin them around. I also want to grab the nodes on the road behind it as well, because I think I'm going to extend these down with it. And then let's do... Don't want to encroach upon the Ascension Creek here too much either. But let's have those there. Again, these have been moved really far away from a road, so they are going to need to have some kind of spawn point work done to them, which is pretty easy to do. And then we'll surface paint this area with concrete, and we can get some sort of HGV vehicles in here during the time lapse. But then I'm pretty sure there's a... There's a barrel prop in the vanilla game, isn't there, that we can use as, like, barrels of whiskey. Which I think I think we used it in the brewery build as well, didn't we, over in Valkyrie? Now I, uh, now I come to think of it. Cool. We'll tidy it up as well. I don't want it all to be concrete either, like we mentioned. We'll tidy that up with some brush and then bring in some overgrowth around it. But then we can have a little bit of, like, uh, a distribution warehouse centre here to uh, send the whiskey far and wide. But as an initial frame for the complex, that's not too bad at all. I don't hate that, really. So we also saw Google Earth that not too far away from this is the Ascension Tavern, essentially, right? Which is, well, I assume, I've obviously not been to Queensland, but is selling samples and bottles of whatever is brewed at the distillery. So I reckon we could have this here as well. Now, where do we want this? So we're kind of going back into Main Street Ascension here. So this would be a good spot for a tavern. And I reckon maybe get it in here, right, between the rail yard. Well, between the rail, because um, yeah, I've got to decide <laughs> what's happening with the rest of Ascension. Uh, there's a lot to build in this town. And the downtown's not even finished. I think every time I load up Thessia, I really come to realise just how much there's still to do, you know? This map is not even remotely complete. <laughs> it's going to take possibly, I reckon, another 12 months, maybe, we're going to be in Thessia 4. That's providing you guys watch it anyway. I hope you continue to do, <laughs> because I don't want to leave this map yet. But uh, yeah, let's have it over here. And then we can have a little distur a little tavern here. So let's set up a little car park that sits at the front of the tavern. 
kind of in the corner of this road, so we'll go for quite a large one here, I think. Go for some poorly maintained spices. I'll we'll just do nine unit, and then are you going to come right into the junction here? No, you're not. I don't really like that. Let's delete that. Then we'll have it come in here. Now, can you come in there? Can we do some node control spices here perhaps see what was possible I'm sure something is possible but we do have some very tight nodes let's bring these off in node controller cool yeah and then we can use this as the frontage for the tavern we'll get some surface painter up in here as well we could also do a drop in a bus station off uh, because I'm pretty sure there's a bit of a bug with the map that this year is not receiving intercity buses. Now we've had this problem um, way back when we were doing ILOS and there was a fix for it, but that fix hasn't worked for this year. I was thinking we'd probably have an intercity bus station in Ascension as well, but as far as I'm aware, they're not coming in. Now here's an intercity bus station in Sentinel. Yeah, see they're just confused with zero people. It is a bit of a shame, it does keep happening. And then you're just going to drive around doing nothing. 10 people service last week, but there is buses coming into the station as well. I guess it still serves as a little bus hub, doesn't it? So we can probably drop one in. Going to take off oh, that. <laughs> oh, that walking board. Yes, please, everyone. Look at that. Well, we're spending quite a bit of time in the older town today, aren't we? But again, it's nice to be back in, in our centre, isn't it? Not been in the Sentinel for a while. Unless you join us for our live stream. In which case, thank you. But yes, anyway, we're getting enormously distracted with old builds. Let's carry on with today's. Because <laughs> I want the tavern over here. Uh, so in terms of tavern assets, there's a, there's a fair couple of good shouts. Low density commercial is obviously going to be the go-to. Now, of course, Scope made us Coco as Outback, which is the quintessential Aussie pub. But um, I'm hoping one of our wonderful asset makers, either Terry, Scope or Kennedy Man, are able to make us a Ascension Tavern. Would be really cool if we could have that. And we'll probably ask in our Discord again. If you're right down, do come join our Discord. You get to see all these wonderful little assets being made before they make it into the series. So I reckon one of King Leno's assets would also go as well here. And um, if we actually search for Pub, we've also got a couple of the workshop as well, haven't we? Um, these two here, we've got Aussie Corner Pub, and then All Nations as well. I like this one here, I'd almost be tempted to do a kind of fusion of pubs, which could be the most Aussie thing we're about to build. Uh, so we have this one over here, um, I just think this one's probably better off on the corner here. We'll bob that crap vanilla tree off of it. Uh, and then we'll spin Coco's out back around to face this direction, which is going to need another little bit of... Uh, oh no, it won't need support point work, it's okay, it's already there. Yeah, so we'll have that there. And then I wouldn't be against kind of King Leno's asset of functioning as a bit of a bistro, where the other ones are kind of geared up for more drinking. I think that would be pretty cool. So we'll have that as the combination of assets. So let's go ahead and get rid of that terrible vanilla tree. We'll switch it out for a bottle brush, courtesy of Robert. Thank you very much. Uh, and then everything else should be okay there. So again, we'll have a little kind of overgrown belt that surrounds the rail yard that comes through here. Similar to what D Taylor will do over by the distillery. And then around the back of that, I'd like to expand some of the patterns that we can see. So we've got some tiles here. I'm pretty sure they're high tiles, aren't they? If we search in our wonderful friend of Find It. No, it's the yard tile, isn't it? Yes, it is indeed. So we'll set that on a prop line tool fill. And I simply just want to bring out uh, an extension of this garden here. So we'll lay some down and then we'll grab decals with find it. Line it up with whatever's on the asset. And we'll do this twice, I reckon. And then maybe once along the side of the building too. So, so it kind of really extends um, that beer garden. And then we'll use those same tables and chairs in our detail town to actually create just an expanded eatery against the side of the asset. Something to that avail. Oh look, there's one of the OE trucks. Yes, please. 
and then we can have like a, a space to eat outside against the overgrown train line with sort of pathways for which I imagine we'll use probably dirt here. Uh, in and around the buildings so it kind of lets people walk around the site as if it's an actual sort of cohesive distillery brewery thing okay that's the idea anyway <laughs> we'll see how it turns out but that is a good spot for all of our kind of framework in now feels like a good point for a detail and time lapse like i mentioned we're gonna do all these ideas we've called here today that we're going to train line lots of prop detailing around this site now. And the same thing with the tavern as well on the street corner. I love the way that's generated the pavement now on the corner of the street too. It's really nice, isn't it? Um, and then I'm going to plop in a ton of low density residential in all these cycling frames that we set up last episode. So hopefully we can finally have lots of people in uh, Ascension because it's certainly, certainly needed. But otherwise... Let's do some detailing, and then we'll be right back.
guys, let's have a little detailed review, shall we? So we plopped in a bunch of residential in the suburbs of Ascension, and just to get some population in the town, and also added some along the high street as well in the form of high density, but I don't want to do too much work over here in today's episode. This will definitely be developed as we move out towards this town to develop it. But either way, we'll head over the mall and enjoy a view from Ascension Creek as we arrive into Ascension. And I really like how this came out. So our delivery area has been decaled and fed up with truck props using some of these crates here. So they're about to transport some whiskey around for us or in the process of being loaded. We've got some container spices and overgrowth in the corner and the whole facility has been surrounded with uh, chain link fencing, which of course is the premium fencing, isn't it? I absolutely love chain link. It's just it's so good. <laughs> it looks so nice. Really happy with it. Uh, then around the entrance, there's lots of service paint and more chain link fencing here to create some yards in around where we have our dirt set up. Uh, some props in here. There's Mitch set up, moving some barrels around with forklifts. There's crates, there's garbage, and just general industrial detailing. Then we'll come through the opposite side of the yard, which has all been fenced off. We've got some trucks and general props outside of our initial warehouse space. And just simpler, the better, I think, in cases like this. And the Ben Lee Distillery in... Brisbane and um, turned out to be just fantastic inspiration for something like this so really great find on Google Earth. Now come over here again looking at the street view uh, in Australia to see what we can see through the fencing and with lots of tanks and silos and whatnot. The more similar detail out this way with decal work around that concrete texture as we do peel onto the overgrown rail line and then there's some planks here again maybe we can pretend you know this is where they manufacture the barrels here or something. That's probably not true to real life, but <laughs> we can always pretend, right? So we got that out here. And then this spills onto the overgrown train line, which we can see uh, the trains coming and going now to get into Ascension further down the line, which is really nice to see. And I really love how all this wooden fence turned out. It's really nice, isn't it? Especially with the overgrowth poking through, kind of slapped in the fence missing. And uh, yeah, just a really nice approach. So the distillery itself came out really great, a really fun way to satisfy uh, some industrial demand, just placing industrial assets down here with some props and a bit of parking. That uh, leads to just being so much more creative with the space, doesn't it? So, really happy with this. And then across the rail line and the overgrowth, uh, we have expanded the tavern district quite significantly. I also brought in a cricket pitch here as well. And then we've got some just generic commercial along the main street here behind the line. Just to add a bit more personality into this space. And then our cafes and restaurants and taverns here have been expanded with uh, their appropriate props. We've got people sat here enjoying a drink at the corner pub. There's Cocoa's Outback here as well. Did lots of path work and brush work in between so people can kind of mooch from one pub to the next. Uh, it turned into a really nice little cohesive space, didn't it? Uh, but we got a pub here, here as well. There's a little doggo enjoying the sights and sounds of the tavern as well. It's actually digging a hole in the garden there. I appreciate it if you could get your dog under control, please love. He's digging a hole in the bear garden. Uh, and then more benches out this way. Expanded the eatery over here as well and surrounded it with uh, some hedge lining. And it just turned into a really nice commercial space and kind of is the perfect little backdrop to the distillery that you can just see through the overgrowth there in the industrial part of town. And just overall, tremendously happy with another little small town build, but otherwise, guys, that is going to do it for today. If you have enjoyed it, likes, comments, and shares below really do go a long way to helping grow the channel and maintain Cities 1 content on the channel if you want to keep seeing it. Please drop that engagement down below. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. I always love getting back into these small towns and really nice first build for Ascension. Uh, hopefully, next episode of our community will have some kind of Ascension branded billboards that we can place around uh, the city for Ascension Distillery. It should be a lot of fun. Really appreciate everyone that gets involved with that, like Kennedy Man, Scope and Terry. You're all absolute legends for making assets for the series. We're looking forward to going out this town some more. Of course, Cairns will continue to serve as fantastic inspiration for the rest of the town, especially as we develop some more hotel vibes up against the waterfront. An enormous shout out again, as always, to all the patrons that support the channel with a special roll call to Felix Wilkinson. You guys are crazy with your support, so thank you so much for becoming patrons. Really, really appreciate you all. But otherwise, I'll shut up and leave it there. Please do enjoy today's cinematics, but otherwise, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.